In this video I'm going to explain candlestick charts. And at the end of this video you have absolutely no problem reading these charts and you'll know all of the information that they convey and the hints that these can give you. So fundamentally a candlestick chart tells you a lot more information. For example we could have a stock price chart so you've got time going along there and price and we could just mark an X at the price at that time or um, we could use something a bit more sophisticated. So we could do this, so at some particular time, say um, the 4th of August, this could represent what's went on with the stock. So we can convey several data points using this drawing here. So let's see exactly what this drawing means. So I've drawn here a stock price graph. So you've got stock price going something like this and you can mark off some points. So down here we've got the lowest point of the day, so that's going to be this part here. The stock opens, so this is say half past eight in the morning or whenever your stock market opens. And this is the bottom here. And we'll see, these can be the other way around, but we'll see that in a minute. Um, at the end of the day, when trading stops, perhaps half past four, then you'll get this here. So this line here is the close and then on the high you'll get a cross here so it's the highest point of the stock. So this is built up of low, then the opening price, the closing price and the high. So you can reconstruct to some extent what happened in the day. And just by one simple glance at this and this can take all sorts of different forms and we can look at a few of them here. So here's a couple of examples of how the candlestick may actually appear. So you see if a stock goes down, the open's going to be at the top and the close is going to be at the bottom. You see in this one we've got the close at the top, we've got the open at the top. So this stock has started the day at some high level and finished at some lower level, so it's went down. And usually this is distinguished by shading it in. Okay, or perhaps color coding it, red would be inappropriate for falling. So the stock price, you could get something like this. You've got a high, you've got a low, and the opening price is higher than the closing price down here. Uh, this one's often called as a kind of bullish indicator by people into charting. Uh, just another note about the anatomy here. This square part is often referred to as the body, and these lines are referred to as the shadow. Now in this case, um, the stock's quite volatile. So this is a potential sort of simplified stock graph that we could have. You notice that there's not a huge amount of difference between the opening and closing prices. Um, this one isn't shaded in, so what does that tell us? Well that tells us we've got a situation like this where the open is at the bottom and the close is at the top, so that means the stock has went up slightly. And the longer this bit is, the greater the difference between the opening and closing price. And we can see that the stocks went down quite a fair bit, hence this very long um, shadow on the bottom. You've got this type of doji, it's often called a doji star. Um, this is where the, virtually the open and close price are the same. Um, of course, perfectly that would be a line, but they always show the little box. So if the box is very, very small, it's no difference, or practically no difference, or even absolutely no difference. Um, though, when stocks are traded to decimal places, it's quite unlikely. This could be sort of how it looks. So it's gone down a lot, so the um, low, then you've got the high up here, and these are practically the same level. The last type is what you get when there are no shadows. And well, how would that happen? Well, this is a potential um, stock price graph. So this is telling you that you've got open and close, but there is no high and low. In a sense, the high and low are exactly the same. It's not shaded in, so that's why we've got the uptrend. If it was going down, then we shade it in because you would have the open up here and the close here. Whereas in this case, you've got the open here and the close here, hence it's going up. Uh, now notice 
At no point does this graph ever fall below this line on the open and never ever goes above the close price. Hence, there is no shadow needs drawn. So here's a basic outline of candlestick charts. So if you put a lot of these together, you'll get the chart and you can see in a lot more detail what happened on a particular day. So that's why traders tend to like these. So hopefully this video has been helpful to you and you've been able to follow this. I've tried to make it as simple as, as I can. And uh, finally, thank you for watching.